Hello viewers, welcome to now taking you through the story for A Level Physics Paper 2. And this video I'm going to go through a part under capacitors and it's called Capacitance of an Isolated Child Sphere. So this video is today for students in both Senior 5 and Senior 6 offering physics as part of their combination. So before we start, let's first look at the course outline for this. Paper. So, first part two is divided into four parts. The first part is geometrical optics, where two questions come from these topics, and as well, must answer one. The next part is physical optics, or what we call waves, where two questions also come from these topics, and a student must answer one. The third part is electrostatics and electricity, where three questions come, and magnetism and alternating current, where three questions come. So it is you to choose, you can choose you right to get two questions from here and one from here or you get one from here and two from here to make the five questions which are required. So you already saw cap electrostatics, now we are on capacitors. So capacitors, under capacitors we saw the part of capacitance of a parapet capacitor and also energy stored in a child capacitor. So now we are on the third part of the calculations, which is capacitance of an isolated child sphere. But the complete notes are available in this book called Mastering Level Physics Paper 2. So the book contains clear notes, worked examples, and try questions on all the parts of Physics Paper 2. But on this YouTube channel, we shall be interested in the part of worked examples in this book so if you have the book you can easily follow and if you need a copy of the book you can contact the author on any of these two contacts so now we shall start our topic capacitance of a child sphere so here we shall suppose a sphere of radius r situated in a medium of permittivity epsilon give and is given a positive charge chu the charge on the sphere gives rise to a potential on the outside surface of the sphere as if all the charges were concentrated at the center of the sphere. The surface of the sphere has a potential and the potential will be given by 2 over 4 pi epsilon r. So we already saw this under electrostatics. That means that when I bring this one this side, I will come up with Okay, when I try to rearrange, this is how I'm going to rearrange, I'll bring the whole of this, this side, and take this V, this side. We shall see why. So when I do that, I'll come up with this, and here I'll come up with 2 over V. Now, why do, we use, why do I want 2 over V? It is because 2 over V is equal to C, which they want here. Therefore, I'm what I'm going to do, the whole of this will be replaced by C to come up with C equal to 4 pi epsilon R as my expression for capacitance of an isolated charged sphere. So if the sphere is in vacuum or air, the capacitance will be given by 4 pi epsilon naught R. So as long as you hear the word isolated charged sphere, just know that the formula for capacitance is C equal to 4 pi epsilon naught R. That is if it is virtual. If it is not, you just use this. But for this part, we shall not be using any other permittivity. The permittivity we shall be using it will be virtual until we reach the last part which has the word dielectrics. That's when we shall use other permittivities. So 
So with that formula, let's go through these questions. So question 1 came from your name, 2020, which is the last year. Paper 2, question 10, a Roman 2, and says, A conducting sphere of radius 7.5 centimeters is maintained at an electric potential of 9 kilovolt. Calculate the charge on the sphere. So this question, there are two ways to answer it. The first one is using the approach we have, we have just seen, that capacitance is equal to 4 pi epsilon naught r. So 4 pi is there, epsilon naught is a constant. Then r is given, so we have to convert to meters. When you do that, you come up with this capacitance. But the question wants charge. So when I, when I get capacitance, and I also know the PD, I can easily get the charge, which is 2 equal to CV. So C is there and V is there, you'll be able to get the charge they wanted. That is if you use the knowledge you have just seen. But also, you can use the knowledge in the previous video, and you'll see that potential it will be equal to K, Q over R, where K is 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught. So come and substitute for V, substitute for K. K is a constant, we saw it under hydrostatics. R is this. Therefore, when I make Q the subject, Q will be equal to this. So both are correct. Any of the two methods is okay. That was question 1. What about question 2? Question 2 came from your name 1995, paper 2, question 9a, and says, A conducting sphere of radius 9 centimeters is maintained at an electric potential of 10 kV. Calculate the charge on the sphere. So this is in the, in the same format as we have seen in question 1, so we shall use both methods. Method 1 is by first use getting capacitance 4 pi epsilon naught r come up with the capacitance then you can get the charge cv so c times v to come up with the charge they wanted alternatively you can first say that v is equal to k2 over r then you substitute for v for k and for r to remain with q as the only unknown then when you make sure the subject that will be the answer they wanted so any of the two methods is okay. Then question 3 came from your name, 2002, paper 2, question 10c, and it says, A hollow sphere, a hollow spherical conductor of diameter 21.4 centimeters, carrying a charge of this, is raised to a potential of this. Find the permittivity of the surrounding medium. So here the permittivity, the one the permittivity, so what you shall do, first get capacitance because you know the charge and you also know the potential. So you can divide to get the C, which is this. Then from there you shall say, what is the radius? Radius will be, because they told you uh, diameter is this, therefore radius will be half of that. But it has to be converted to meters, that's why you multiply by 10 to power negative 2 to give you this as the radius. Then from there, remember that C is equal to 4 pi epsilon, epsilon R. Therefore, when I substitute by making epsilon the subject, I'll come up with C over 4 pi R. So C is there, 4 pi is there, and R is there. Then make, get, use a calculator to come up with this as the permittivity of the surrounding medium. Alternatively, you can first say if I, you can first get the radius in meters. Then from there we'll see that V is equal to 2 over 4 pi epsilon R. So this should be small R, you can edit that. Then you'll come and substitute. So make epsilon the subject will give you 2 over 4 pi R V. So substitute for 2, 4 pi R and for V. You'll be able to get the 
answer will use the calculator and that will be the answer they wanted. So that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching and be reminded the next video will be on arrangement of capacitors in circuits. So if you have not yet subscribed, please click on the subscribe button to this video so that you can receive updates when the next video has been uploaded. Also, if you know any student who is not yet on this platform, please share the link of this video with them via social media platforms like Facebook and WhatsApp so that you can all benefit us a family